So the last step here is to configure the print server and publish it to our folder. So in order to do that, we need to go back to the console and log into the user account which was used to configure the console. And we'll need to click on this button called Sage X3 Print Server. And right now it's blank because we haven't added the print server that we installed during the installation process. So let's click on this button to add a new server. So if you click on this drop down, it will bring the name of the server which we used to configure uh, the previous components. If you don't have an option there, you need to press the new button and put in the information about your server name and the ADX admin port and the username and password to log into the server. So this is already pre-populated for me, so I'm just gonna have to click on next here. And since I have the print server already installed, it will show it to me here, so I can select that. If it doesn't show anything to you here, it means that you have not installed the print server component. So you'll need to go there and install it. Um, so I click on OK. So it adds the print server here. You'll just uh, need to go to this user ID field and double click on the field and type in the username that you'd like the print server to run with. If you don't specify a username, the uh, print server will run as a local account, which works, but it is recommended to run it under a specific user account. So I'm just gonna click OK there. And then the next field just to specify the login password, the Windows login password for this account. So I'm going to try that again. I click OK there. And now that it's done, you need to press the configuration button. So what this will do is it will go and create the Windows service for you and start that service. So make sure the services button on Windows is not open um, when you do this. So I'm going to click OK there and here and click close here. So once this is in the active mode, now you can click on the print server publications. Now click on add solution button here and add your Sage X3 solution here and click OK. Wait for this process to finish. Click OK, and in here, click Close. So this will add your solution to this print server, and it will bring all the list of all your folders, which you have already uh, added to that folder, uh, to that solution. So you need to select which folder you'd like to publish this print server to, and just click on the Apply or Apply Publication button. So every time you add a new folder, say you're adding your customers live or test folders, you need to come back here and tick the folder name that you'd like to publish the print server to and click apply publication. And click OK here. And click close here. So now that the print server is published to that folder, you just need to log back to X3 Go inside the folder and make sure the print destinations are aligned with the folder. So I'm going to go in localhost and log in. And inside the folder, which for me was seed, go to setup and go to destinations destinations function. We just want to make sure that the destinations are actually pointing to the right print server. So select the one of the destinations and in the server field, just click on this lens button here and it will automatically bring the local host, which is the name of the print server. Uh, so you just need to press save here. So repeat this process for all the other destinations and this process is finished.